Hello everyone, welcome back to this hot seat. Now let's log in. I bring word from my people, noble lord. Trade rights, information. Um, you want map information. Ah, sure, I'll fucking take it. Goodbye. Might as well. General. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, right away, uh, Novgorod has taken all the TO's provinces right here. And I am losing money. Now let's check out diplomacy. Um, hmm. Okay. So I'm the I, the HRE, and the Mongols are the only factions that are currently not at war. Um, so here we have the HRE advancing over here. We have some stuff down here. Um, Your will shall be obeyed. All right. So first, let's look at my economy. Um, could put some things here. Uh, this village. Put them all here. So at least it'll take an extra turn to build a ram if. Uh, instead of uh, the enemy army just barging in straight into the village right away. Alright. I'm curious to see uh, all the factions standings. Some of these factions are quite broke. Alright. Saving the game. And now. Uh, it's too bad I don't have a, another castle. Let's create one unit spearing. Alright. So basically. Um, I'm going to declare war on the TO here. Once we the wall, Actually, we use the, the catapult. So basically, uh, this is nothing personal, of course. Uh, all the people in this hot seat are great people, and you guys should check out Warrior of Sparta's channel. But I basically knew I was going to come to blows with the TO basically since the start. I mean, I have to eliminate the TO as one faction for starters, and he's already in a conflict with Lithuania and Novgorod, so I basically have to take advantage here and I need more castles. So it's nothing personal, once again. That said, uh, I'm basically a traitor, baby. <laughs> yeah. So basically the rules in the hot seat state, if you make it so that you attack an ally or, or after you break an alliance you attack within like a period of five turns, then you're basically known as a traitor to other players. Now this may affect how other players treat you, but that doesn't stop them from allying with you as well or simply not taking that into account. Um, she gonna... Bring my diplomat down question, here. Mark. How may I say? God's servant. On my way. And this place is not very heavily fortified. Um. Orders, my king. Orders, my lord. My lord. I'm gonna attack Marching this as well. Marching to battle with pride, lord. Yes. Surrounding and besieging the settlement. The siege is ongoing, my lord. Yes. yes well. Orders, my king. Man, march. Combining troops. 
Yeah, I am quite low on money now. I'm going to raise my tax rate a little bit. Let's see if I can spare any troops somewhere. My lord. Orders, my king. My lord. Bring these guys here. You have one. Yes. I'll just bring the spy over Move here. Quietly. So now we're seeing two of the Tio's provinces. Now the catapult here, so I might as well right away just attack it and see what happens. Leave your mercy behind, man. Alright. We shall show them none. So yeah, I would not like very much to be the Tio right now. At, at the beginning of the game, I thought the Tio would go for me, but they didn't, which kind of surprised me. And this I to ally with me, I did actually think they might have been, uh, might be a useful ally, but... Uh, since they got themselves into shit, kind of, and are basically up against the wall now, I gotta take advantage of this because, well, if I just sit sit on my ass, I've already kind of dawdled a bit for the first several turns. If I do that, I basically um, cannot uh, really afford to field bigger armies or expand basically and will in the late game I probably will not be able to defend myself as well anyways let's get my troops over here so hopefully these catapults get the job done here Make them not be super close. Okay, let's speed this up. Not exactly sure what percent it's at. The gates are down. All right, that was quite easy fortunately um now i know i grouped all these you guys should be a separate group and now we are at war and this should be really intense and again i this is just business i apologize to um warrior of sparta if he is offended by this in any circumstance, but I trust that um, most of the players in this hot seat would be advantageous, and if I was in the same circumstance, I'd trust, well, basically almost any other player to do the same thing. So yeah, I'm speeding the game up because, of course, there is a time limit here. Uh, I think we're pretty good right now for time. But we'll just uh, speed this up. Take the gatehouse. So let's take a look. They got their Prussian archers, they got their order spearmen, they got their general's bodyguard. I'm gonna bring my Lord cavalry right today. here. We have and the my enemy's archers. Wall. Of course, I will bring my spearmen over here. Damn it. Bring my 
artillery here just in case. Now we've only destroyed the gate and I don't want to really put a hole in this settlement when I'm going to take it easily anyway. Okay. First off, let's fight. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to see what these troops are going to do here. General lies dead. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Charged straight into us. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Now I'm gonna go send uh, this cannon fodder right here to attack the Prussian archers. Actually, no. Shit. Stay back. I don't want to get my general killed right away. We still got some order spearmen over here. Let's fire at them. He still, he still has a bit of his general's bodyguard. I'm gonna go charge them. Hurry up. And these archers are getting slaughtered. So that's good. Oh, my cavalry should go over here. Do a bit of uh, a little flanking maneuver. It's a really bad angle to shoot from, but hopefully they can take a few order spearmen because these guys are tough. They are tough nuts to crack, but we took out a good chunk of them. Okay, you guys who are just water water I'm sorry for fucking up but they're just like swarming around basically not doing very much the enemy are badly bloodied they have lost Can they, even, they should be able to go through here I mean enemy general didn't have a trouble going through here if they could quit being stupid and that'd be great I guess that's too much to ask. Here's my general. Hopefully he doesn't go straight for my general because that'd be quite unfortunate. Firing missiles. But they still want to fire when they're in close combat? Alright. My lord, our men are in command of the castle. Okay, well, we control the city basically. Um They can fire their jabs right here. Hopefully, I don't actually really want to engage these guys, I just want to hold on onto the city until time comes basically to, uh, to take the city. Oh, you guys come back here. Speed this up. All civilized peoples will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Have we won though? Oh, we did. Alright. We lost 56 men and took out 
these could all be men here. So that's not too bad. I need the money, I'm going to sack the settlement. And we have taken Thorn. And, um... Now we have ourselves another castle. And are looking to take another one over here. We need a priest, really. I don't think religion is really going to play a huge factor in hot seat games, basically. I mean... Most provinces are either Catholic or Pagan, and, well, Orthodox in the East, of course. Well, and there's some Islamic provinces down here that the Golden Horde has. Well, they're not very heavily Islamic, but I don't think public order is going to be the first and foremost of our worries. And, hmm. I want to expand my trade. Change much. It's normal. Hmm. We'll go for the population growth bonus with the town hall. Can't retrain anyone quite yet. Uh, strange chapel. Keep all these buildings. Now we're trying to take Marienburg. Orders, my lord. So yeah, we quite outnumber his general right here. Um, it's possible, though, I will be very impressed if he managed to t manages to take out all of these units with his one general. Um, I'm recruiting more units just in case. Too bad there aren't any mercenaries available here. You can't travel very far with these, so we won't be able to make it there next turn. Well, Maybe we'll make it there next turn, actually. Uh, let's take some of these An troops. Order. Yes, my lord. These guys aren't yes. too badly. My lord, orders, my king. Damaged. Hmm. Oh, of course, let's save right here. Actually, what can we retrain here? Polish nobles. So basically, all of these units, except none, are available at the moment. It's quite inconvenient. Yes, your will shall be obeyed, my lord. And just in case, I'm gonna my lord. bring a few units up north. Holders, my king, my lord. My lord. All right. I will make them fear you. This castle is being repaired. I think we really need this right now. All right, so we've taken Thorn and we're looking to take Marienburg, hopefully next turn, if all goes according to plan. Um, yeah, the TO has their backs against the walls here, basically. They may have some How may I say? more troops over here, mean. but I'm not sure if they do. I presume Lithuania would have troops moving here that moving that way. I have troops moving this way to defend my settlements. Maybe he'll come over to where Danzig is. Hmm. But either way, he's not in a very strong position right now. Uh, his army right here is caught between uh, Lithuania and myself, so he can't really defend very effectively. And I probably could take that village, but it's not very defensible. 
maybe I'll take it later. Shall not relent, ever. All right, anything else I can do this turn? Get some more crossbow militia. All right, that's enough. That's enough expenditures for this turn. And by, yeah, I still want to have some money in reserve. Anyway, uh, so that is that for this turn, I presume. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens after that. And now it is in Mark's turn. So, see you guys next turn. I hope you enjoyed this episode because we actually did something interesting for once. Later.